guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and as most of you guys know, a couple weeks back, Team Win Recovery Project released their uh, newest 2.1.2 recovery for the Galaxy Nexus, among a list of other devices. Uh, this is big news on the Galaxy Nexus, as previously it had not been available. Uh, 2.0 and earlier builds were not available for the Galaxy Nexus. Uh, most of you guys that are familiar with TWRP, uh, like myself, are familiar with it from the Amazon Kindle Fire. It was the only recovery available there for a while, and the awesome thing about it is it was a touch recovery, of course. Um, Kush developed his own version of touch clockwork mod recovery uh, after the TWRP came out. TWRP has some things that set it apart. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and install TWRP 2.1.2 on the Galaxy Nexus. And what you want to do is go to the link in the description. You can do this directly from your phone. Anyhow, if you do it directly from your phone, it'll save it to the download folder in your SD card. So we're going to Droid Monitor X. dot com slash Galaxy Nexus. And if you've done this directly for your phone, of course, I, you won't have to go find the link. I'll send you directly there. Uh, but what we want to do here, we're looking for uh, the TWRP 2.1.2. And there's a download link. It takes you directly to their site for the Galaxy Nexus. Now this is for the Verizon version, but they also have it for the Sprint version, and I believe even for the T-Mobile version. But you'll have to uh, you'll have to go home and find that version. Of course, this is available for many other versions. So we have a couple of options here. We can either uh, install this via Recovery, which is very simple. It's probably the simplest way. If you already have Clockwork Mod Recovery, you can do that. Or we can do this uh, via ADB, uh, which is really my recommended way. If you're familiar with ADB, all you have to do is uh, download this file. And from the directory where this file is downloaded, you would type the command fastboot flash recovery. Uh, fastboot space flash space recovery space recover, recovery file name or in this case twrp toro 2.1.2.image and it would automatically flash that. Uh, but we'll go ahead and do the simple route. Either way is very, very simple. So just give it a couple of seconds and it will download on its own. We're on 4G, so hopefully it'll download quickly. And it's downloading now, and looks like it's downloading pretty quick. So as soon as this is over, we're going to go ahead and reboot into recovery. So we'll just power off. As soon as this is powered down, we'll, we're going to reboot into Clockwork Mod Recovery. So I just hold down both of your volume buttons and the power button. And we'll go over to recovery mode and select power. It's going to bring us into clockwork mod recovery. So I'm on the, I guess the oldest build of clockwork mod recovery. This is a replacement foam, which has to be replaced again. Had some USB problems with my original Galaxy Nexus. They sent me this piece of junk. And so now I have to send it back to them again. Let's see, let's get this. There we go to where you guys can see it. So all you'll have to do here is go to install zip from SD card, select that, choose it from SD card, and go to your download folder. And you're looking for the open recovery twerp 2.1.2 toro sign.zip, so go ahead and flash that. Go to yes install, select that, and it's going to do its thing. Okay, so that's finished. So we'll go ahead and let's see, we'll go back and uh, reboot system now. We'll let it power up and then we'll boot back into recovery. And we'll play around with twerp for just a minute, show you guys some of the features.
If this bores you, just fast forward. I'm on a stock ROM. Because this is a replacement phone, I'm going to have to lock the bootloader before I send it back anyhow, so I'm not doing too much modification here. All right. So we'll just power it back down. I guess I could have pulled the battery to make, make it go a little faster, but oh well. All right, so hold down both volume buttons and the power. Okay, so we'll go back over to recovery mode, and now we should have twerp. There it is, team win, and this is their recovery. You see down at the bottom there, you've got a couple of options. So you can just touch the screen though, which is really cool. So if I wanted to wipe, I would just touch wipe. I've got my cache. I have wipe data factory reset there. Uh, Dalvik cache is all there. I can go back. And if we go to advanced, we have copy log to SD, which is pretty cool. And then you have a file manager, which is really cool. Uh, so you can actually move your files around. That's one thing that sets us apart from Clockwork Mod Recovery. Uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery does not have a file manager system. So if I wanted to go from, I mean, I'm trying to figure why you would really need this. Um, I'm not really sure why you would need this because you could just, you know, I guess if you, uh, I guess if you had something on your external SD card, depending on what device you're on, you wanted to put it on your internal SD card for flashing, you could do that from here. So that makes it makes it really nice. Um, anyhow, that is there, and it's a really nice feature. Let's see. Other than that, you have your install, your backup, restore. Uh, you can mount this and drag and drop. Uh, you can drag and drop files onto your phone. Let's say you've boot looped, and uh, all you can do is get into TeamWin Recovery Project. You can actually, uh, if you go to mount your device, you can actually send a file to your phone from your PC. That's pretty cool. I guess that, yeah, that feature is available in Clockwork Mod Recovery, so that's not really different. And then you have your reboot option. Uh, so we'll go ahead and make a quick backup. That's the very first thing you want to do whenever you install a new recovery. Um, all we have to do here is swipe to back up. So there's some really neat UI enhancements with Team Win Recovery Project. It's not so boring. Of course, we can all appreciate Clockwork Mod Recovery because, well, heck, it's been the only custom recovery that we've all known for quite a long time. And uh, if it was not for Clockwork Mod Recovery, of course, for the most part, we would not be uh, Flashaholics like we are. Uh, so anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and let this back up, and it will be available in my twerp folder uh, for restoring later on. And uh, it's as simple as that, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial of the Team Win Recovery Project. Uh, you can check me out at droidmoderx.com for all the latest in news, uh, ROMs, mods, and hacks for your Android device. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx with an E, not a 3. Uh, please Click the subscribe button there, and if you like this, give this a big thumbs up and click the like button below and comment. Uh, all of those things help me out a ton, and I appreciate you guys. I'll see you in the next one.